So we're talking about it remains near the end of the dated period Neanderthals occupied Europe. Well, okay. Yes. That is even makes this cannibalism story a bit more interesting because that's what initially caught my attention was the time period and, and the evidence of that. Okay. Now the cave is, is excavated 1800s. They did, they kind of screwed it up, but at least we have dates and the dates are with radiocarbon. We're in an area known to be populated with Neanderthals through the late Pleistocene. All right. I think I have a good enough background <laughs> to actually now think about what do we, what did you actually do? So you had these bones and now going through your paper, you identified at least six individuals. Could we talk about those individuals? Tell us about their size, their sex, what they were kind of shaped like. How many people did you actually find cannibalized? So we, we had this, this whole set of bones and it's, it's through repeated dating and analysis that we were able to identify different ones. And we have, for the most part, we have long bones um, and they're all very fragmented. And we quickly realized that the, the fragmentation was done on fresh bone and we noticed marks on them, modifications. There are some cut marks, for example. There are some percussion marks as well, some notches and some pits. We also have some marks that some of them were used as tools later on, and we can talk about it as well. And so we, we tried to make sense of all of this by comparing the marks we were seeing on the human remains, on the Neanderthal remains, with those that uh, were found on the fauna, because the fauna was clearly butchered. And it's by making this parallel between the marks on the Neanderthal remains and the fauna that we were able to describe them as being cannibalized. 